This is the supplementary material to our paper called Semantically Safe Robot Manipulation From Semantic Scene Understanding to Motion Safeguards. Consider a tabletop environment with a robot manipulator and the task of obstacle avoidance. Assuming the objects in the scene are known, we can incorporate constraints for the objects in a safety filter to avoid them during the robot operation. We demonstrate this with a short example. Here we show two different views of how we use a safety filter for obstacle avoidance. Safety filters, for example, based on control barrier functions, can modify unsafe control inputs and prevent collisions. In the videos, the manipulator never gets too close to the books. We saw that the robot can safely avoid collisions with obstacles. But what if the robot is holding a cup of water? Is it still safe to move over the laptop? What if any water spills onto the laptop? We propose to extend the obstacle avoidance constraint to prevent the end effector from passing the cup above the laptop. We refer to such constraints as semantic safety constraints. These positional relationship constraints avoid unsafe spatial relationships between the object manipulated by the robot and the objects in the scene. In addition, we consider semantic constraints on the behavior, for example, such that the robot moves more cautiously when transporting a cup of water around electronic devices. Finally, we account for constraints on the robot's orientation. By holding the cup of water straight, the robot can prevent spilling. In these videos, we show the resulting constraints when the robot holds no object. This yields the same obstacle avoidance behavior as before, and the robot can pass over the laptop. Once the robot holds a cup of water, the semantic constraints change and the robot is no longer able to pass over the laptop. Instead, the robot arm has to go around the laptop to avoid spilling any water. A cup of water is not unsafe in all environments. Here we show an example where the robot manipulates the cup of water around balloons and a roll of paper towels. In this case, the robot is not subject to any additional semantic constraints. However, once the robot manipulates a knife, the teleoperator is no longer able to bring the knife too close to the balloons to avoid poking them. Similarly, if the robot holds a lit candle, the semantic constraints also prevent the robot from getting too close to a balloon, even though it is teleoperated to push towards the balloons. What about more cluttered environments? We task the robot to perform a two-step pick-and-place task in cluttered scenes. In this setup, the scene representation was updated after the completion of individual pick-and-place. We first task the robot to pick up the sponge and move it to a target location. The collision avoidance constraints are highlighted in red. The robot picks up the dry sponge and moves it to its new location. No semantic constraints become active, so the robot behavior is not modified. Then we task the robot to pick up a cup of water and move it to a new location. Once the robot picks up the cup of water, the spatial, behavioral, and orientation-based semantic constraints become active. They become inactive once the robot has placed the cup of water. Here you can see how the robot's behavior changes compared to moving the sponge. The robot avoids going above the laptop, moves very slowly around it, and barely changes its orientation. Finally, we highlight that the constraints are directly extracted from real-world point cloud data. Instead of relying on an ellipsoidal fit of the point clouds, we use less conservative superquadrics in combination with segmentation by parts. In the case of a laptop, this allows us to fit two superquadrics to get an even tighter approximation. Our method can generalize to different environments and hazards 
shown by the following experiments in a real-world kitchen environment. Here, we apply our semantic safety filter to learn diffusion policies trained with teleoperation data. First, semantic constraints prevent a metal cup from being put in the microwave, posing a fire hazard from sparks. Second, semantic constraints prevent a plastic container from being placed on a hot stove, which is at risk of melting. Third, semantic constraints prevent objects from being carried over fragile eggs, which are at risk of breaking. Here, a pressurized can is prevented from heating up on the stove. The can is flammable and may potentially cause an explosion. Finally, a fork is prevented from being inserted into an electrical apparatus, which may create sparks and pose an electrical hazard. To summarize, in this work, we presented an approach to go beyond obstacle avoidance in robotics by leveraging semantic knowledge about the environment. Using our proposed method, we are able to synthesize semantic safety constraints. As shown in the examples, this method is generalizable to different environments and different constraint types, such as keeping a cup upright and ensuring plastic items avoid the stove.